I am Batman. I mean, Average Sniper. Hey, what's up guys? Average Sniper here, and welcome to another PUBG video. In today's video, we are playing my favorite map, Aaron Gale. And it was just one of those random matches that I had a good time on, and there was enough cool stuff that happened that I decided to upload it to YouTube. So anyway, I landed over here at Stalber. There was a guy that landed right next to me, but I never saw him again. Not sure exactly where he went or if he just took off. Who knows? Sometimes you see people land right beside you, you never see him again. But then this guy just appears out of nowhere after I'm all looted up with no loot. So I was, I was going to drop him some ammo and maybe a pistol, but then he, he kept like trying to punch me. So I was like, well, this is crazy. Why are you trying to punch a guy with a gun, man? So... After he tried to Superman punch me like three times, I, I had to put him down. I had to put him down. You can't let somebody like that live. I mean, if you give them a gun, if they're already trying to punch you and you still give them a gun, they're just going to shoot you in the back. I know how this works. So then I realized how far away I was from the zone. I had no car. I'm like, all right, well, this is going to be one of those running simulators. Running simulator 2019. That's PUBG sometimes. <laughs> I see this guy in front of me that's in the same situation. Maybe. Maybe this is the guy that landed at Stalber with me, but I don't know. I've already ran all the way from Stalber to Yaznaya, so this could be anybody. So I'm like, let me just see if I can run up behind this guy. I think he was waiting for me, but then I look, and he's still just running down the street. So, so I just take him out. No big deal. I, I went up to loot him. It turns out he didn't even really have anything. So that's that's two guys basically running around with like no weapons so far. How weird is that, man? That is just weird. I don't, maybe they're trying to do the... Some kind of challenge. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I finally found a vehicle. It's this motorcycle right here. And I had to take some sniper shots at that Jeep driving by because why would you not? You know, every time I see a car driving straight to me, straight towards me, I always think easy shot. But I, I missed him on that guy, unfortunately. He swerved. He swerved right when I pulled the trigger. That's what happened. Yeah. So I, I go over here. I hit this jump. And I don't know why, but... All of a sudden, I was in the middle of a backflip, and I don't know how I survived that, all right? So I know this Jeep guy is around here somewhere, so I'm like, shit, let me just lay down in the grass. I hope he doesn't see me. Let me check my medical situation here. All I have is bandages. Literally, that's all I have. So I'm like, well, I'm in the blue. I'm dying. <laughs> my only hope, my only hope is that this guy just doesn't see me, and he doesn't. He takes off in his Jeep, and that, that was the last I saw of him. Well, maybe I saw him later, but I don't know. So I get myself healed up as much as I can with the bandages that I had. I get back on the bike, and I race toward that safe zone. Look how far away I am. Man, and it's a bridge block safe zone. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, I got to get to the bridge quickly as possible. Quickly as possible. Got a car 98 and a UMP. Then I see a guy right there in those bushes. Think he was having a fight with somebody else, but I got out and decided to just engage him. And uh, this was a cool little fight. I mean, nothing... Nothing super awesome about it. This guy just kept hiding behind the tree. He he chucked a grenade at me. I was gonna throw a grenade at him. That's that's a that's a big uh, third person thing right there. You got two guys behind trees, you know, that won't peek. You're gonna throw grenades, but I wanted to be aggressive with this guy. I had this little hill as cover, so I just kept running back and forth to try and confuse him, and uh, it actually worked. I think he couldn't figure out where I was, and at the last second, I was able to surprise him there and get a kill on him before he finished me off. So. That is, uh, that's where I got the rest of my medical supplies right there and a three times scope for my car 98 and a couple other goodies. So we're back on the bike heading for the bridge now. I'm fully, fully expecting that there's somebody blocking this bridge, but that's okay. Whenever I think somebody's blocking the bridge and I don't see any cars, I just ride up to it and kind of just see what happens. That's, that's kind of the fun with PUBG. It, it's, it's almost like a gamble. Even if you're good at the game, it's always like a gamble. You don't know where people are hiding. There was definitely a guy camping the bridge, but I don't think he was expecting to get shot in the head so quick. Even I was kind of surprised. I'm like, wow, maybe that guy thinks I'm hacking. I just I just rolled up and saw where he was and shot him in the head. Does he think I'm using radar or something? I don't know. Um, so then I, this is my favorite bridge to block because it's got this little middle part here. I get a nice headshot on that guy out of the Jeep with the Car 98 bolt action sniper rifle and then i decided to move further down the bridge and loot this first guy and here comes a guy on a bike I, look at what he's <laughs> what is he doing he's just he's all over the place get a nice chest shot with that sniper and then finish him off with a couple more shots from the ump the great gun that ump and car 98 now this guy has a four times scope which i put on a car 98 actually you know what i think i already had a six times scope on there i must have edited out the part where i found the six times scope because that looks like what i had on there 
So I drive up to this place. There's a guy shooting at me from the beach, and I just pull the bike right inside. I'm like, yeah, now you can't blow the tires out on my bike. This is probably the best place to put it. <laughs> I always do that. When I, whenever I have a bike and I see an open door and I need cover, I will literally just drive the bike right into the building. Who, who else does that? My friends think I'm crazy. They're like, he's driven a bike into a building again. <laughs> This guy was up here on the tree, he didn't have very much cover, and, and he was shooting at uh, cars that were passing by, so I decided to try and take him out, and oh my god, I'm so glad I got that first shot on him, because his bullet literally hit me right in the head. But fortunately in PUBG, there's no kill trading, so basically whoever's bullet hits whoever first gets the kill, and then even if they've already shot their bullet and it's in the air coming towards you, it gets rendered completely useless. So I think in other games, that would have been a kill trade, but in PUBG... You just don't kill trade. Well, at least PUBG on PC, you don't kill trade. I have seen uh, kill trading in PUBG Lite. Get a nice little headshot on that guy. He decided to shoot at the cars that were driving by. I try my best to avoid shooting at cars in the final circle because it gives up your position. But sometimes you just have to if they get too close. So completely understand where that guy's head was at. This last guy, the last two guys, are driving around in UAZs. And uh, they're both armored UAZs, so I'm just sitting here like, man, these are the last two guys driving around in these armored cars. What the F, bro? <laughs> like, like, I hope they don't see me, but one of them is really fucked up and it's already smoking. So I'm just sitting here thinking, like, I guess I'll just watch what happens unless one of them gets too close to me and I, I have to engage or start shooting at it. So, And this guy's kind of pissing me off. He keeps driving close. I want to take shots at him so bad. I'm like, okay, let me see. Uh, let me see what we can do here. Oh! <laughs> He got blown up, bro. So now it's just a 1v1. That other guy also has an armored UAZ. So I'm like, man, okay, what's going on here? <laughs> let's let's see if we can sneak in here without being seen. It's such a tense situation in PUBG when you get into that final 1v1 circle. Look, this guy's parked his armored UAZ at a care package. I'm like, man, hopefully I can get this final kill on him. Uh, we'll see what happens here. We'll see what happens. That's all you can do. It's kind of like watching a movie at this point, except you're like, you're like the main actor in the movie, just hoping things go your way. So much luck. Luck and skill both involved with this. Luck always a factor. This guy gets back in his armored UAZ, drives right up to me. And I, I thought he was going to jump out right there and try to fight me, but he didn't. He just kept driving the armored UAZ and took cover down here by this tree. So I'm like, oh man, <laughs> this might this might actually go in my favor here. He got out of his armored UAZ. It's ready to blow up. Let me check a grenade over there, see if I can get him. I'll launch a grenade, and uh, I think I, I, I either cooked it too long or I just couldn't throw it far enough. This guy hits me with a nice nade right there, but fortunately it doesn't take me out. Then he gets behind the armored UAZ, and I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute. Did, did I really just see him run? behind that UAZ that's on fire, who would do that? So I just put some shots into the UAZ for the nine kill chicken dinner. Thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed and remember, even if it's an armored car, never take cover on it. If it's about to blow up, it will not end well for you. <laughs> Later everybody, like and subscribe if you enjoyed. See ya.